arguably the silliest statement uttered in politics. No, don't worry. I get how competitive that Jeopardy category is. I'll take stupid political statements for a thousand, Alex. Well, this week's answer might have been UK Prime Minister Theresa May's brief statement on the London terrorist attack, which killed five people, injured 50 others. She said, Islamic terrorism has nothing to do with Islam. Yikes. Yeah, there's a lot of competition, but I'm talking about something really stupid that you hear all the time, not just a one-off statement. So my winner is the constant use of the term free when it comes to government services. So when Canadian legend Alex Trebek says, stupid political statements for $228 billion, we should respond, free health care, Alex, because that's how much it's estimated we'll spend this year on so-called free health care. So many other examples, including things like free university tuition, promises of elect me and you'll get free daycare. But I think you get the idea. Of course, there's always a rationale as to why a specific service should be free. But my point is, it never is. We're simply saying you won't pay directly out of your own pocket. I'm amazed at how often I do hear that phrase, free Canadian health care, given that on average, health care represents about 40% of all provincial spending and it's growing. If that's free, we can't afford much more because the increases in spending for free health care are growing by over double, even triple the rate of economic growth. Now, I'm not trying to spoil all the political fun, but I find all the talk of this is free or that is free is just so insulting to our collective intelligence. Why don't we just say what it is? Elect me and I'll make someone else pay for what you want. My name is Mike Campbell. Join me Saturday for Money Talks.